A pair of scholars from Spain have won an annual award named for Pope Benedict XVI. It is the first Ratzinger Prize since the death of the Pope Emeritus nearly one year ago. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. Una eredità viva da continuare a far fruttificare nel cammino della The legacy of Pope Benedict XVI is alive. It will continue to bear important fruits for the Church. With these words, the Vatican Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Parolin, opened the award ceremony for this year's edition of the Ratzinger Prize, the first one since the death of Pope Benedict XVI last December. The recipients are theologian Pablo Blanco Sarto and philosopher Frances Toralba Rosello, both from Spain. Since 2011, the Vatican's Ratzinger Foundation has awarded this prize to distinguished scholars. When a pope, in a very delicate moment in which he was, decides to withdraw to pray, I think that is an example and an exemplification of how important prayer is in the Church. So he withdraws to pray to support the Pope, who comes later in this process of reform and purification of the Church, in which we are embarked at this moment. And I think that is a good example of what he said. Let's say, in theory or in his theology, no, the theology of holiness. Father Federico Lombardi, president of the Ratzinger Foundation and former spokesperson for Pope Benedict XVI, also addressed the honorees. He explained that Joseph Ratzinger never wanted to build his own system of thought or establish his own school. He taught us to seek the truth with the power of reason and the light of faith. Speaking about Pope Benedict XVI's legacy, philosopher Francesco Rolbo Rossello told EWTN News his thoughts on the concept of love, one of the main themes of Benedict's pontificate and theological work. Ratzinger defined Christianity as the religion of the words, but also the religion of agape, and therefore, both are key. We have to introduce rationality in our public life because it is very marked by emotionalism and sometimes by fanaticism and fundamentalism. But on the other hand, the world needs agape, and agape is donation. It is gratuitous love. In the morning before the award ceremony, Recipients of the prize and members of the Ratzinger Foundation gathered in prayer in the Vatican grottos at the tombs of St. Peter and of Benedict XVI. After Mass, Pope Francis received the awardees in private. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser and Matteo Chalfi, EWTN News Nightly.